Hey, welcome to Tim's Final Confessions. No, you do not need to adjust your screen. It is early and Sarah and I are heading to Moncton. I'm going to the Record Expo today. There, that's better. Uh, Sarah was wonderfully kind enough to accompany me, even though this isn't really her thing. So she's got her Kindle and she's good to go. And But anyway, I'm hoping to find some cool stuff and uh, run into some people maybe that I saw last year. And um, yeah, just looking forward to a good time at the Record well, Expo. Well, I've arrived. I'm here at the Lions Club in Moncton, site of the Moncton Record Expo. I'm excited. Let's go in and uh, fill these bags up. So I'm here with Marty at the Record Expo. Marty, how's it going here? Oh, geez, I think this is the biggest one yet. Uh, it's the first one I've been to. We got to get out of the way. Somebody needs through. <laughs> I'm gonna come back in. You're going? Yeah. So, uh, yeah, and this is overwhelming. I'm just starting to scratch the surface here, and I've already, I got to make my second trip to the uh, ATM. The ATM. <laughs> uh, finding some incredible stuff here. So. Yeah, uh, this is a much better than the last time. No, it's definitely. much less crowded, but uh, I can't believe some Spacious of Spacious the... too, like ATM, plus there's a canteen. You know, you yeah. can't beat it. What I'm noticing, I cannot believe, and I gotta pick and choose, there's so many cool 45s with picture sleeves, like ones I've never seen before. One I haven't guy, found a Y&T one, one yet, but I want... He has, it's all 45s. Yeah. You don't I, know where to start. I haven't found a Y&T one yet. <laughs> but if I'm gonna find one, it's gonna be here somewhere. It would so, take an hour just to go through all the Oh, time. yeah. Yeah, I'm sweating. <laughs> all the right. First, the first uh, 15 minutes, there were 75 people went through the door. Oh, wow. Yeah. So uh, It's going to be a good day. Cool. As you can see, this is my kind of place. And look, it's the girls from Strange Grooves. Hi. Now, I, I just got here. I'm about an hour late or so. How's it going so far? It's packed. It's packed. packed. There's been a lot of people in and out of the doors already and taking extra loads and getting bags. And awesome. I've just just starting scratching the surface here so uh, good to meet you guys again I haven't yes. seen you guys since last year uh, I didn't make it here the last time it was the yeah, Lions Club I, I can tell already that it's a lot more spacious and oh, not a lot of pushing and shoving and, oh, yeah. and you've got some cool stuff here let's yes. uh, let's take a look at your table here so we have buttons we have pins we have swag bags no pads we got to give you some need to rep us so okay <laughs> strangegroups.com uh they're kind enough to feature my videos every week check them out and check them out on facebook and all the social media as well so it is record expo day yes it's jack's Hey people! Haven't uh, haven't run into Jex for a while. Basically, was going over though the results of the Record Expo. Yeah, I couldn't attend. Uh, but, uh, but, this year. but one thing is for sure, at the rate I talked when I talked to Marty, he said uh, at nine o'clock when they opened this morning, there were seventy-five people at the door. I believe that it was packed <laughs> and it stayed packed the whole time I was there. And it's on and like it goes till five. Yeah. So there'll be another one, and we'll have a chance to uh, actually oh. do this and dive in in person and. Yes. Uh, you know, maybe give each other a list and say, all right, you take this side, I'll take that <laughs> side. Because I'm telling you, it's overwhelming. Oh, I know. And, but in the best possible way. No, and everyone's like, it's it's everyone for themselves, right? Everyone yeah. wants to get to that record before everybody's, the next guy. Everybody's friendly, <laughs> but I know a couple times I'd pull something out, I'd see somebody, I'm like, no, oh, no, you don't. That's my that's my look with the cat dragged in record. And, you know, they might not even be looking for that, but you can just tell, you know, every once in a while you'll get something, you hear somebody go, oh, I was looking for yeah, that. And yeah. but, but anyway, Jax. It was good to see you. Yes, you too. So uh, meet again. Yes. All right. So let's go through the record expo stuff. Um, man, what a what a what a great day! I've checked so many things off my list. First of all, a shout out to the Strange Girls gals. Um, gave me some cool stuff. A notepad with the Strange Grooves logo on it. Check them out at strangegrooves.com. A lot of cool content. And if you're really bored, you can check out the collector's section specifically that has me. It's just these same episodes. They're uh, nice enough to host them for me. And so that's a notepad. I'm always jotting things down. So that's cool. Free swag bag. They got some cool t-shirts on sale too. Um, become a patron. Be a Patreon. Be part of the Strange Crew. This came out here too. And business card. They all feature like a little flying saucer motif on here. Uh, bookmark I, I feel like um, I feel like if Marley sees some of this stuff I'm gonna lose it that's all right some pins the magnet yeah some really cool stuff um, yeah strangegroups.com so thanks again 
girls for that. Um, one of the things that I was blown away, well, there was several things I was blown away by the selection, the sheer depth of selection of things that were there, but they had a lot of cool 45s, um, including a lot of picture sleeves. And before I forget, I want to send a shout out to Rob and Dennis, both of who I ran into down there that uh, recognized me from watching YouTube. I can't tell you how cool that is. I just, I figure I do these and some friends of mine watch them. When people I've never met before come up to me and say that they watch them, like it's just mind blowing. So, uh, it, it, you know, not that I don't, I like my friends watching it too, but uh, it's just cool uh, to know that I'm reaching people and they like what I do. So, so thanks guys. Uh, and I appreciate that for, um, for seeking me out when I have armfuls of uh, records. Um, <laughs> one of the funny things that happened, I kept picking things up and putting them down, picking things up and putting them down. I could have sworn that I bought the 45 pitcher sleeve to clones by Alice Cooper. I had it in my hand. Obviously I changed my mind or I forgot to go back to that particular vendor. I don't know what happened, but this is what I did get. Um, Robert Plant, Little by Little, one of my favorites of his solo songs. This is a Canadian picture sleeve on Atlantic. I picked this one up. I love the design on this. It's just, it's simple, but it's effective. That's White Snake, the original Fool for Your Loving. It's a belt, but it's also a snake. And this one is a, a printed in Germany, so it's not, the, the, if it was a North American one, it would be on Mirage Atlantic. This one has a Fool for Your Loving on the A side, and the B side is Mean Business and Don't Mess With Me. So they've got three albums represented here with this single, and it's on United Artists Records. More White Snake to come, more Deep Purple oriented stuff. Um, a band you're going to see again, but Extreme Vinyl is not something that you see very often. So this is a 45 of More Than Words. This is actually a UK version, and I got it because it's, a, you know, it's an extreme single. But what's really awesome about this is that there's a B-side on it called Nice Place to Visit. I've never even heard of this song, so i got to pop this on the turntable and hear what it sounds like. Now, the record is, it's got a couple of scratches on it, but not, it's super shiny. It's on AM Records, but it's UK, so it's different than anything I've ever seen. Now, I believe this middle piece pops out, but right now it can be played just like a regular record. And yeah, I got to check out this Nice Place to Visit song. It's, it's written by Nuno and Gary, so it's, it was probably from the Pornograffiti session. So that's awesome. A uh, band that I've been a fan of for years and for the very first time have something on vinyl by them. I've never had any vinyl before by Mr. Biggs. This is, the, uh, this is a UK single for To Be With You. And uh, the B-side is a live version of The Who's Baba O'Reilly, which is recorded in Tokyo. So that's pretty cool. Now, if I hadn't bought the Extreme single, I probably would have been very confused by this. As you can see, you can't read the song title. There's down just above the barcode, you can see the U, as in To Be With You. I think that this was like the Extreme single and somebody popped the middle of it out. Because you can't read Baba O'Reilly either. You can see a little bit of the B again above the barcode. But yeah, I got some uh, some Mr. Big on vinyl, so I'm excited about that. We're gonna dig into the, uh, the full length albums that I got. Uh, this is Ario Speedwagon, their live album from 1977. You get what you play for. It's a two record set. Uh, this is a Canadian edition, as you can see, two disc, de disc. Back cover. And so they've got the old orange Epic logo and there's, as you would expect, there's one record in each side. Another live album, actually from 1977. I've actually never listened to this one before. Uh, it's Rainbow on stage. This is only the third Rainbow album. They released the first album, Richie Blackmore's Rainbow, then Rising, and then this one. So this is the original Rainbow, well, the classic Rainbow lineup featuring uh, Ronnie James Dio on vocals. And this has, uh, I mean, Man on the Silver Mountain, Starstruck. Um, now, so 
they dip into the Deep Purple catalog, as David Coverdale did in Whitesnake with Mistreated, which takes up all of side three. And also, there's uh, the first, very first track in here is Kill the King, which is from Long Live Rock and Roll, which is the album that came out after this. So this actually previewed that. This is a Canadian edition on Polydor Records. And, you know, in the tradition of classic live albums, gatefold albums. An album that um, I've become a really, really big fan of. The second Robert Plant solo album, The Principle of Moments. This has Big Log, In the Moon, Other Arms. Um, good stuff. This is, of course, a Canadian edition. You can tell by the maple leaf up here. And uh, same photos that were that are inside the CD. I picked up the CD earlier this year. A picture disc. Uh, a record I didn't actually have, so... You know, there's a there's a regular version of it out there too, but for now, the price was right. I've got Toto Isolation. This is a great album. Uh, Stranger in Town is on this one too. Um, yeah, so there's the front cover, and there's the back cover, the band as it was in 1984. All right, now we're getting into some <laughs> we're getting into some major things crossed off my list. Uh, James Mullinger, if you're watching this one, you're, you'll be proud of me. I finally located Look What the Cat Dragged In on vinyl. This is a Canadian edition in nice shape on Enigma Capital Records. Um, here's the, the record itself. Very excited to add that to my Poison vinyl collection. But uh, almost more rare than that, I mentioned about that More Than Words single, I finally tracked down the first Extreme album, which is now, believe it or not, 30 years old. On vinyl. This is a US copy on AM Records, and here is the record itself. Okay, next we have Heart Baby Lestrange from 1980. This is, uh, this is also a Canadian edition on Portrait CBS. So I'm always interested. I never used to check this as close, but it does have the original sleeve in it. Uh, added to my Yes vinyl, this is the Yes album from 1970. This is a classic, classic album too, and another album I've become a big fan of in the last uh, year or so. And this is a, it's pretty old. This is an old Canadian edition on Atlantic Records, uh, Gatefold, and uh, the record itself. I can see it's got the red and green Atlantic logo. Uh, this is something that you don't see very often at all. This is a two-record set of David Coverdale's first two solo albums that he made after Deep Purple disbanded in 76. Uh, in 77 and 78, he released two albums. The first one was actually called White Snake, two words, and the second one was called North Winds. And uh, I've got these on a CD, um, two of them on one CD, and I actually have the White Snake album on 8-track. But uh, this collects all of the, the, both of the albums are on this collection here, which is cool. It's a UK uh, collection on, the con it's a connoisseur collection. And this is from 1988, actually. So this is a reissue, because these did come out each separately. I know that the first one came out on Attic Records in Canada. Now, what's cool about this is that on North Winds, uh, of the eight songs that are on here, Keep On Giving Me Love, Queen of Hearts, Only My Soul, and Breakdown, if you're a hardcore White Snake fan, you'll recognize those. That's side two of the Snake Bite album because it was a combination of that and another EP. Very confusing. I mean, essentially, this is part of the White Snake collection. He's got Mickey Moody on here. Uh, you know, it, it's, it's very much what would become uh, White Snake. The, the early years of White State. All right, next up. Another Robert Plant album, Shaken and Stirred from 1985. This has Little by Little on it, as you can see. Uh, let's, where did I put those singles? There it is. So, kind of, you know, mirroring the, the art style on here. So this is from 85, and uh, this is a Canadian edition. Very interesting on the artwork here. Uh, 
uh, from 1981, the compilation Classic Yes. This is a Canadian version on Atlantic. Now, what I'm really, really impressed by, um, I'm looking, just giving this a good look over here. Uh, the spine, it's a little worn. The price wasn't bad on this, but what I really am impressed by is something that very rarely happens. Um, when this first came out, it's got, uh, this has seven tracks on it, because the Yes songs are long. But it came with a bonus single that had two live songs on them. Now the CD just has them all together. Uh, so now what I'm impressed by is usually these singles get lost. Uh, Cheap Tricks Found All the Parts is a good example, so is 38 Specials Flashback. But this copy I got actually has the live single with it. It says Classic Yes on it, so there's a live version of Roundabout. And the B-side is I've Seen All Good People. So this is complete. Very happy about that. And one more piece of vinyl to show you, and another one that I crossed off my list finally, is Queen's Reich's Rage for Order. I never had this on vinyl before. This is in excellent shape. It's a Canadian edition on EMI. Uh, it's got the lyric sleeve, and this is the, the boys look just absolutely dashing there, 1986 fashions. So they were kind of going for a new wave heavy metal look. And um, the record itself looks to be in excellent shape. I'm not quite done just yet. I found some cassettes. Uh, earlier this year, uh, you'll see that in my vacation episode when we went to PEI, I found a huge bulk of the White Snake collection. Missing Love Hunter, so I picked that one up. This is just the Canadian Geffen reissue from 87, although the album's originally from 79. This is um, like a mid-80s reissue of ZZ Top's second album, Z uh, Rio Grande Mud on uh, Warner Brothers, but it looks like it came out in 1983 or 1984 from the way it looks on the back here. I'm guessing that after Eliminator became big, they, uh, they reissued a bunch of their albums. So this is cool. This is not an issue that you see very often of this album. Queen, classic Queen on Hollywood, the, the compilation that they kind of helped them come back around. It had Bohemian Rhapsody on it. It came out at the raid at the same time as uh, Wayne's World. And uh, it's this great lineup. It's got I Want It All on here under pressure. I mean, this was a good introduction for me getting into the band. This is a Canadian version of this on cassette. And a really old, not sure if it's an original, but it's a pretty old version of Alice Cooper's Billion Dollar Babies. This is an old Canadian edition on Warner Brothers. So, awesome. Uh, really happy with that. I actually got a CD I didn't have before. I saw this, Dream Theater Live at Budokan. This is from 2004 from the Train of Thought Tour. I've, I've never had this before. I don't have all of their live albums. They've got so many, but the price is right on this one. And I thought, I said to myself, I would be happy finding a bunch of stuff. I'd be really happy if I could find even one 8-track. And I did. Uh, last table I checked out had Deep Purple, Made in Japan. This is a Canadian edition on Warner Brothers. So, um, just a fantastic uh, record expo. I know Marty seemed pleased with the turnout. Uh, you'll see his comments earlier. And um, yeah, there'll be more. And uh, hopefully, I'll be there. And hopefully, you will be too. Thank you very much for watching Tim's Vinyl Confessions.